this is a, a video boost, November the 18th, um, to again dr address the raging issues of acid-base um, chemistry. Um, there are different ways to approach this, and a lot of people want a ranking for the different effects, the polar, the resonance, the um, hybridization effects. And there are different ways to look at this. Um, but one thing I want you to be aware of is that resonance effects can be as important as polar effects. They can be less important than polar effects. Um, they can be on par with um, hybridization effects. They can be less important than hybridization effects. So kind of the way I see it is that there are polar effects. There are hybridization effects. And then there are resonance effects. Now, you could put the resonance effects in the middle, and that's where a lot of people are putting them in their head, but they really could be anywhere in this range, anywhere, okay? Because it depends, resonance effects depend on the number of atoms holding the charge. And of course, the nature of the atoms holding the charge. So I always tell people that you could have, like say, 55 carbons holding the negative charge. That's a ridiculous, that 56 carbons, I'll make it even. 56 carbons holding the charge. And that could easily outweigh one oxygen holding the charge. So you have to be a little careful with it. And you, you don't want to be like wildly overgeneralizing. So what I've been suggesting to people is the following. This is a different way to think about it. If you have methane, right, I said methane had a pKa of about 60. These are approximate. And then we said that, and I want you to just keep pondering this. You'll learn more and more. The more you think about it, the more you learn. pKa here equals about 40, okay? And then the, the famous triple bond pKa that most organic chemists know, it's around 25. Woo, I just totally, oh no, I'll keep that. It's about 25, okay. This is what's known as the hybridization effect, okay? Look at this, pK 60, pK 40, pK about 25. And these are approximate. It depends on the alkene, it depends on the alkane. These can be as low as 50. These can be higher, they can be a little bit lower, okay. Then, take, take a look at this guy again, because this is a good comparison, right? pK equals about 60. Okay, then look at the amine, okay? The amine always seems misplaced. We were talking about this on Friday. The pKa is around, again, it's around 40. And then look at the alcohol, where the alcohol sits. These tend to be around 18. I am approximating there. Now look at the parallel here. I see a lot of parallel here. I don't really see, like, a wild difference between what is called the hybridization effect, which is what this is, and the polar effect, which is what this is. I don't see a wild difference. Um, it looks to me as though when you go from an alkane to an alkene, that's about the same as going from charge on carbon to charge on nitrogen. That's the polar effect. So to me, a nitrogen is about the same as an sp2 carbon, okay? And this is different but it's not wildly different. So realize when you're jumping down here, 10, 10 to the 20 difference in acidity, 10 to the 20 difference in acidity. Is this really, like should these really be ranked? I don't see that they should be ranked, okay? I think you should see there's a progression here, progression here, they are parallel, okay? And then resonance could fall fall in there anywhere, depending on how much resonance you have. So for example, if you had some like wildly resonant stabilized anion or, or conjugate acid of some wildly stabilized, um, I'm making something that has super resonance here. So say you had something like this. This is very, this has tremendous resonance stabilization. Okay. Say we were talking about this H right here, right? If you pull that H off, I guarantee you, you're going to get a lot of resonance stabilization. And I will tell you, that hydrogen there 
is probably more acidic than that hydrogen right there, or it's very close. So the point is, it's not valid to rank. You shouldn't be ranking things. What you should be doing is when you have a problem, how, how's my time right now? Five minutes, 14 seconds. Okay. Okay, so if, I, if we had a problem, just to look at one example, if we had this crazy problem here, and by the way, I still think you folks need to write resonance forms. I have concluded this after a couple of days of thinking about it and watching people working. You should not jump right into the mode where you're writing um, hybrid, um, hybrid structures because I don't think you're there yet. You need a little more work. But anyway, if I had this, like I say I had this problem, just to show you that like say I've got all right say I've got the uh, I don't even know if I want to put an O in there I'll put an N in there okay so say I've got this okay for you guys this would actually be sort of a tough call Okay, this would be a little bit of a tough call for you, but I would try it. You should try it and figure it, see what happens. So what you, the way you would tackle this problem is always focus on where you have the metal. Okay, say, so I would go right to where the metal is, and the way people are determining whether or not they have strong bases or not, it is just where the metal is. And if I take that metal off, I have a negative charge there. Now, this negative charge is special because this negative charge is is distributed so it has resonance stabilization so th this would have another resonance form that would look like this okay so what you want to do is you would have this with this you shouldn't just like immediately say oh polar effect this wins right that's what you would do if you had this very like rigid ranking system that's how you would solve this problem. you just go oh my goodness the charges on ni nitrogen it's more polar this wins all right but you really need to consider what would happen if you pull off that proton, okay? And I want you to consider that. If you pull off that proton, you are going to get, and I want you to write these out because it takes a little practice. Write out your resonance forms. I'm not going to do it here on this particular video because it would take, you know, five minutes to do it. But you should do it. Okay, but I know most of you know, right, because you have been practicing, that this will be distributed all the way through here, through here, all the way through here. Then it'll be distributed through this ring system. There are going to be a lot of carbons holding the negative charge. I would say as many as, you know, 14 to 16 atoms are going to be holding the charge. Okay, you'll have to work it out and see. So the way you really do these problems is you look at what you get, you look at how many atoms are holding the charge, you look at what you get on the other side, you look at how many atoms are holding the charge and which atoms are holding it. But realize that a lot of resonance could trump an electronegative atom. And in this case, I would say the reaction would go in this direction because, just because of the gross number of carbons that are holding the charge. In other words, in my opinion, this has a higher pKa than this, okay? And you can think about that, okay? Now, what I'm looking for ultimately are intelligent answers. And what I mean by that is not someone just looking at it and ranking it, but somebody who thoughtfully takes the proton off, draws the resonance forms, and does an analysis. And even if you draw the wrong conclusion, does the analysis. In other words, says, this charges on X number of carbons, this charge is on an, a C and an N, and in my opinion, this will outweigh it. And again, I'll tell you, it takes about 13 or 14 carbons to kind of balance an oxygen. So in this, be, this only being a nitrogen, this should be the weaker base. Okay, so I'll see you in class, and you can you know, continue uh, working on that. Thanks.